carry on back. You know, I've lost 23 pounds. I've been sick since February. I'm, I've been in and out of the hospitals eight times. Can you believe that? And I've been in rehab three times. And now I'm back. I'm back in my home. My husband died last year. And I moved back to my own house. And my studio's all set up here. I'm all happy here. And my daughter's living in the other apartment but in my house. And so I've got good help. And I'm just so happy that I can come back and paint. But I haven't had much strength. So, you know, today I'm going to just do some watercolors. And I thought maybe I'd do a snow scene, because that's easy for me. And I like snow. And you know what? I just thank the Lord that I'm here even, and that I can paint. And you know, He's healed me and brought me back. It would have been my choice. I was so sick to leave this place. But God said, no, you got to stay. you got to cheer up these people. Show them how you like to paint. All the love you have to paint. Now, if you've had sickness, you know, that don't let it keep you down. You can't let it keep you down. you got to have a passion, a passion that drives you to do these things. And so I, I'm encouraging you. You know, the Lord healed me, and He brought me back. I thank Him every day. And I'm so happy to be back. And, you know, it's a hard time, but, you know, I got through it. And maybe, who knows? I mean, I can't, this may be my last video. I don't know. But I've tried to, to do as many as I can. And so I hope you watch me today. And I'm going to use 140 pound paper and 30 by 22. And I'm also going to use burnt sienna and ultramarine blue. And I think um, a couple other colors I'll let you know. I haven't decided yet. But it's going to be a winter scene. And I want it to be a warm winter scene. So I'll use a warm color. So let's just start, okay? Okay, here I have my paper already, and uh, I've also used some of my hibiscus watercolor, fine art, and um, I'm, I'm using also um, granite gold in a tube, and also a lilac, and perhaps I'm going to use some of Chinese white, or zinc white, in the tube. I'll see. I'm also using a big brush, as you know. And today I'm going to do a snow scene. Um, I, I've got to wet down some of it here. And um, I'm going to make a background. So this is upside down. And you know I always paint upside down, don't you? I, I like to paint upside down. I'm doing this is really strong, very strong colors, uh, and this kind of uh, hydrous watercolor. And so I, I'm not kind of I'm just going to kind of fill in a little bit. As, and I really remember now I'm, I'm painting backwards. That's what I'm doing. I'm painting backwards. And uh, I'm not sure, you know, painting backwards, you're not always sure what's going to happen. And um, I like it that way. I don't, I don't like to know what's going to happen in my paintings. And uh, so I'm just going to add a little bit more burnt sienna and make it a little more brown. And. Uh, Pretty soon I'll turn it back up, see what I got. Uh, this paint is really nice to have because it comes in a liquid form. And look at how bright it is. And it's real, it's strong. It's a very strong paint. 
Now let me see. Um, okay, I want to leave some white in here. So I'm going to do it like this. Just add more water all the time. Now, oh, you're saying, how come you're not spraying? Well, that's coming. That's coming. You know me. <clears throat> when I was sick in the hospital, all I could think of was getting back to my painting. And, you know, it's really hard to, it's really hard to be away from home and sick. But I'm thankful that I'm home. Okay, now you can see what I'm doing. I'm putting in some background. And uh, I'll probably spray it now a little bit. Uh, I want this to run down. Maybe a little of this can, can run down too. How long? It's getting too dry. So maybe I should do a little more um, probably uh, color over here so that when I spray it, it will run down. I gotta get a little bit more blue. I'm also using some of my regular bar colors, and so that kind of con confuses me when I go to reach for them. But I want this, um, I like this paint because it's strong and um, it does nice things. You don't have to use much of it either. It's not really expensive. I just bought a tube. It's just like this. I got it for six dollars. Uh, and it goes, it goes forever. Really it does. It's just really great. Um, I got a, some Kleenex here. Um, take the towel. And wipe this down here. Okay, now I think I'm about ready. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm going to put a little more trees in here, uh, suggestions of, of trees. Okay, I did put some Chinese white or zinc from a tube and I put a, just a little faint over it. And so now I'm, I'm just going to bring in a little orange, get some color in here. And um, th this is uh, just a uh, whole beans orange. Now I get a little color in there. Okay. Now I just uh, just to put some pine trees in here. And uh they gotta be pretty dark, but I don't want them I don't want them too too dark. So let's see. Um I've got this as a background, so I'm going to bring in some some more down in here, like this. Different, different uh, lengths. And this one might, might be a taller, tallest one. So then, now, what I want to do is take my colors and sort of try to make it just kind of has a little bit of green in it because it's, yeah, it's got a little of that gold. Um, I never can pronounce that word. Anyway, I said it's good.